I'm Luke Sierveld. Welcome to another episode of Meet the Gaffer. Today I'm joined by DP Jeff Regan, and we're going to uh, talk a little bit about uh, this new uh, setup. And it's similar to something that I showed in a previous episode, uh, another job we worked on together. But um, this is, um, yeah, it's like a, what is it, four axis head? Yes, uh, robotic on. four axis slider that does pan, tilt, and uh, choice of either focus or zoom with proper gearing uh, of a uh, city so that, lens. that's the fourth part of it? Yep, you have to choose between focus or zoom. Okay, cool. And then we're adding that to uh, a Dana Dolly. And um, so this is a, a local company, right, Emotimo. And they're what? in Hayward. Hayward, so just across the bay from us. Uh, but San Francisco Bay Area company. And uh, they sort of come out of the still world, it seems. Yeah, their first version uh, was designed more for time-lapse still use, but of course, DPs were trying to make it do video, which it could do. Uh, but this second version, the Spectrum uh, ST4, is their second generation, and it has video in mind as well. It still does the, the time-lapse still stuff, but uh, much more video friendly. It's very robust and very powerful as far as its uh, feature set for motion control. And you have uh, this uh, on uh, a fiber rail, right? So it, I bought it with a carbon fiber, uh, either two foot or you can make it a four foot, very lightweight, easy to travel with. Yeah. Again, a nod to the still photographers. Yeah. Um, and it works fine, but uh, having a Dana dolly uh, gives you higher payload capacity. It gives you a longer length. You know, you can go what do we think this belt is about a 10 foot belt yeah this is on a six foot uh you know section of rail right here but um you know smart of them to go with what a lot of people are using so uh you know a lot of people are using a dana dolly instead of a you know big boy slider uh and um uh why why do you want it motorized i guess is a good question well the, the whole point of a robotic slider is precision uh it also allows you to not have to have an operator if you don't want one uh, it gives you just you're going to get the same move out of it because it's just going to go into ping pong mode for video interviews for product tabletop uh, motion control applications you're going to get the precision repeatability you just put this in ping pong mode and it'll just do it all day long and uh, when you have a whole lot of interviews to do in a day like you and i have done many yep, times yep. Uh, it's just nice to let this thing do the work for you and not worry that it's going to bump or it's going to slow down or speed up when you don't want it to. Uh, you just have to worry, you know, make sure that your headroom, your talent kind of stay, stays right. fairly constant. Right. So uh, you do sort of have to program uh, it, before. check it out each time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you just want to watch, you know, headroom. But yeah. you can set keyframes so that you can trim the headroom up to five keyframes for whatever length uh, Dana Dolly slide. And uh, so you can trim the headroom, the pan and focus in this case or zoom if you want right um so it's very precise uh, but you don't have to do the keyframes you can just establish a start and end you can point. do it manually and you can operate it live uh, as well um, using a little joystick so you have to be good at uh, what is a interface a sony playstation game controller so some uh, is readily available yep so if you know how to use this you're already way ahead of the game yeah yeah <laughs> uh, but it's pretty simple even if you haven't used these much to uh, program everything you need. There's a big uh, LCD or LED display mm -hmm. uh, on the back of the Emotimo uh, head. And uh, you can operate this about 50 feet away via Bluetooth, up to 50 feet away. But you won't be able to read unless you get closer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. So um, uh, how about we put on a, a, a big camera? Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and by big, you know, F55. And so it has a little more weight uh, then you'd want to put on the other rails, so hence the reason to have the Dana Dolly. And um, is there any kind of special balancing? Needed? You want to get it uh, balanced before you mount it, if you can, uh, for fore and aft. And then uh, you have to be careful not to go down too low. You want the center of gravity low, but not too low, because if you need to tilt down, you want to make sure there's enough clearance. Um, other than that, really not any big deal. So if you're tilting, you don't want to have the motor hit the base. Right, that would be the lowest point here if you're using a, a focus or 
zoom motor, depending on how you want to use the motor. Right. Uh, but that, that's it, it's pretty fast. And it, using an Arca Swiss mounting plate that you'd find in the still world, similar to the base, is also an Arca Swiss plate, and you provided the ball head. Right, so that's the one thing that sort of doesn't come with this uh, you know, chocolate peanut butter uh, mix here. Uh, I had the Dana Dolly. I purchased the Dana Dolly kit, which is like you know, three points here extra beefy motor and the, uh, the belt the belt and so uh, and then Jeff had the head the remote head camera obviously and then it's this ball head so you have to have some kind of a beefy ball head uh, to bring these two worlds together well what do you have on on your smaller rail uh, well it's it's got its own, the slider has its own platform oh, okay. <clears throat> with an Arca Swiss receiver already. Sure. Uh, and uh, um, it's not even a ball head, it just goes right onto the, to the plate, uh, to the uh, base. Oh, okay. Um, and you level your, your stands, basically. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. So uh, let's uh, maybe program a start, stop, and sure. let it so rip. So we've, we've chosen what mode. There's quiet modes, normal modes, turbo modes, and there's uh, damped modes for smoother movement. So there's a lot of options. And then you go down to uh, whether or not you want it to be used for video or still mode. So we're in the front yard, so we're in loud mode right now. <laughs> and uh, the, yeah, the slider itself is quiet. <laughs> the world, not so much. <laughs> so I'm gonna hit a, a start point. Okay. So I'll uh, just Take so it with over. the controller and looking at, at the screen, you can, right. you can figure that out. So you don't have like a iPhone interface or anything. Correct, this is all you need. Uh, so I'm gonna start here, but what I'll do is I'll set a uh, pan. Let's just say I'm gonna shoot a subject that I wanna keep centered in the yep. frame. So you have one fixed point and you wanna right. hit like it from different. If you're doing an interview on a, a B camera angle, a profile angle or something. Uh, so you would get that framed up. And then uh, also a little bit of a tilt. The other tilt, <laughs> and then uh, you would set a focus point. And since you're working with a 35 prime, you don't need the zoom, so you're you're choosing the uh, the focus. focus, right? Yep. So I've set everything I need for the start point, and now I'm going to uh, head over to the end point. And this is all run off of V mount. Yeah, the whole e Emotimo uh, head is on a V-mount battery, like the same as you'd use for your camera, potentially. And, uh, or you can run it on AC, but right now it's, it's great for, uh, you know, there's no, there's no cables hanging off. Yep. And now I've got my end point as far as travel for the slider. I will now uh, pan it to, back, to your point. back to that same subject uh, that I want to keep uh, centered in the frame. and somewhere around there and then again i might want to tilt <laughs> the wrong way again and there we go and then i'm going to just trim the focus a bit and call that good and then we're going to set a duration and i'm going to put uh, 26 seconds in this case i can obviously change that mm -hmm. to suit and then um I'm going to go to, I could choose its ramp speed from the start to uh, start of the move, end of the move, how much, how much time it takes for it to get back up to speed again. I'm going to set it for one second, and then uh, shot style ping pong uh, if I want it to repeat. Yep. And then I'm not going to do the keyframes this time, you don't have to, but it's, if you want to be really precise, you can do the keyframes and it automatically finds equidistant points for those five keyframes. Oh, really? Yeah. So after it knows what the travel is? It, yeah, once you define start oh. and end, it will then do nice. the math for you. That's pretty for The keyframes, which is really nice for product shots, especially right. motion control stuff. And then uh, we're gonna go to the start. So that was just the the beginning, that little abruptness or whatever. Yeah, it's gonna move faster to get to its number one, then you would actually, then it's actually programmed for the actual live move. And then it has the ramp in it. Right. Yeah. So that'll be smooth once I'm actually in the move. Right. So now I can go to the uh, Ping start pong. the move. Yep. And uh, you'll see that it'll be counter panning. And it's so super loud. I mean, I can hardly hear myself talk. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's pretty quiet. That's good. Uh, and with the beefier motor, it's probably better too, right? Uh, well, it gives, it helps with the extra weight of the Dana Dolly compared yep. to the lightweight sliders. Uh, so it's panning, it's theoretically tilting, and it's theoretically focusing depending on the points of... Yeah, and it had a nice, uh, nice feather. Yeah, exactly. So you can make very smooth moves, and it's going to do this same rate. You have your client tell you <laughs> what they want, and it's going to do it all day long for you, and there's no, no question of uh, yeah. being able to deliver what the intended move is. Right on, and, and it, it works with the existing holes that are already in the Dana, so there was like a 3 8 and a quarter 20, um, and so it was a, that part of it was uh, it's just pressure fit on, on either end, so uh, it was actually came together pretty quickly uh, without us even looking at directions, so go figure. Just like men normally. Yeah, well right on. Well, thanks uh, for showing us that, and um, yeah, I hope uh, we get to Put these two things together yeah i think it's a sweet package for uh and it sets up quick um yeah. but just you know you can do a 10 foot move right and uh what you get for the price point with this product is pretty awesome i think yeah the the dana add-on was just like 400 bucks um which isn't nothing but it's uh it's it's quality it's all relative to the film yeah. world <laughs> yeah and it's 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 quality uh machine stuff so um it's nice to see it in action it's been sitting in a box for a while, and now, <laughs> now it's actually working. Thank you, Jeff, and thank you for watching. We'll see you again next time. Mm -hmm.